beginning of, the, of this mural, uh, which now is 60 feet long and, and uh, is comprised of 15 panels. Each of the panels are eight foot by four foot. That doesn't mean anything in Europe anymore, but <laughs> this size. Um, it started when I, I did a comic strip uh, for um, the Wolverhampton show that I had. And um, I wanted to pretend to be four different um, comic artists. And uh, so one of the, the comic strips was called Mannequin Defectors. And um, the idea behind it was that the mannequins were leaving shop windows and artist studios and um, uh, uh, mannequin dummies and other uses. Um, and they were all rebelling and they were marching. And that, but they were wearing corsets um, uh, derived from men's paintings. And they were carrying placards, though, of women's art. And at one point in their march, they march in front of a mural, um, and it's just a comic frame that big, um, which I wanted to make a street mural of all women in different fields. Um, so women scientists and women writers and so forth. And when I came to do the drawing, I realized I didn't know anything. <laughs> I knew writers, I knew uh, female artists, but I didn't know any women in the sciences or math or um, medicine and um, that sort of thing, Mary Curie. Um, <laughs> and so I had to do some research. And doing that, I felt so impoverished, you know, that I didn't know my own story. So I realized that women who hadn't gone through sort of gender studies in university or, um, you know, historical um, things about women's work, um, would not know anything like me. Um, and um, so I began a research project thinking I would assemble a list of, of names and that maybe I could persuade somebody to fund uh, doing a mural. So in 2008, I began that process, talked to my friend Gerilyn Dreyfus, who's a producer of films, um, and said, Gerilyn, you know, help me do this. And we tried various venues and so forth, and nobody was really very interested. And um, anyway, so it boiled on, and we muttered about it from time to time, trying to get somebody interested in it. And then eventually, I met with uh, Diane Stewart, who uh, is the gallerist um, at Modern West um, in Utah. And um, she said, we have to do it now. And this was 216. And she was right, because it was such a great moment. It was this ramp up to Hillary um, probably being the president. And it was a moment in time that we thought was pretty, pretty potent in the Obama administration. You know, that there was so much discussion about equality and about um, gender rights and about um, gay wedding marriage rights and so forth. It just seemed a revolutionary time.